Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we'll do the part two of the topic data handling. So in that we'll see innings 16.2. So here they said the pie chart in figure, this is the figure given, shows the daily expenditure of a family on motor, food and fuel. And if the total daily expenditure is 600, find the amount spent on all the three categories daily. So this is the percentage given food, fuel and motor. So total daily expenditures will be, this is given as 1600. So the, uh, that is 600, rupees 600. So that is given here. So this mortgage is going to be, what is that here? 50% of 600. So 50% is wherever there is a percentage sign, what you have to do, you have to divide it by 100. So here you would write 50 divided by 100. Off means multiplication and this is 600. So this and this gets cut. So 50 into 6, that is going to be 300. Now let us see for food that is given as 37.5 percentage of 600. So always whatever here is that you have to write the total. So again here because this is percentage 37.5 divided by 100 into 600. So these two zeros get cut when you multiply this into this one. So you get rupees 225. Again for fuel that is given here as 12.5% of 600. So that will be 12.5% divided by 100 into 600. So this and this gets cut. So when you multiply this, you get rupees 75. So this is they asked to find out amount spent on all the three categories daily. So this is the answer. 1500 children were asked the favorite drink among banana shake, orange juice, lemonade, iced tea and milkshake. This refer to the pie chart shown in figure. This is a figure given and answer the following questions. Now here they said which drink is the most popular among children. So most popular means you can see according this is called the pie chart. So here you can see this is the, these are the sectors. So we can see which is the biggest one. So because the most popular means of course the biggest sector that is going to be 144 that is for the banana shake. So we can say banana shake and total number of children they are given as 1500. So now which drink is the least popular among children. Least means you can see. These both are the same and that is also the degree has been given that is 24. So we can say ice tea and milkshake. Then how many children like to drink banana shake? So now here it's given in degree and you know this whole this whenever there is a circle here that means that is going to be 360 degree. So here is given in degree. So we can write here. So there was for the banana shake. So we have to consider this one. So that is 144. So 144 out of 360 degree. And of this, how many children are there? That is 1500. So you have to write here of 1500. So 144 divided by 360 off means multiplication into 1500. This zero and this zero gets cut. So here will be 312s are and 350s are. And then 12 ones are and 12 twelve is 144. So 12 into 50, that is going to be 600. So they said, how many children like to drink banana shake means that is going to be 600. We can write here children. Now the next one, the number of children who like to drink lemonade is more by what number than those who like to drink Milkshake. So first now let us see separately the number of children for lemonade and this one for milkshake. So we can say number of children who like lemonade. That is how much? That is given as 72 degree. It is given in degree. So we have to first find out the number. So 72 out of 360 into 1500. So here 0 and 0 gets cut. So it will be 312s and 350s are. So here 12 ones are 12 six are. So you can do it anyways. You can simplify it. That is going to be 300. So number of children who like, this is for the lemonade, that is 300. And number of children who like milkshake. So milkshake is, here is 24. 
So 24 degrees. So we have 24. First we have to make it to number of children. So 24 divided by 360 for this degree. And into number of total number that is 1500. So this will be again two, uh, 3 twelves are 3 fifties are. Then 12 ones are and 12 twos are. So that is going to be 100. So now they have asked the number of children we like to know is how much is more by the number of children. So we have to take the difference of it. So here will be 300 minus this 100. So that is going to be 200 children. The pie chart in figure, this is the figure given, represent the sizes of t-shirts sold during a month in a shop. If the total number of t-shirts sold during a month is 10,800, then answer the following questions. Find the number of t-shirts sold of each size during the month. So these are the different sizes given. XL, XXL, S, L and M. So we have to find for first the separately we have, we have to find the number. So total t-shirts sold that is given as 10,800. So we are going to write it here. So number of t-shirts sold of each size. So XL. XL is given as 20%. So this is given in percentage. Now let us find out the number. So 20% means always we have to divide it by 100 as I said earlier into this 10,800. So this and this goes off. So this will be 2160 for Excel that will be 2160. Then for XXL that is 15 percent. So 15 percent of this 10,800 again 15 divided by 100 into this. So that is going to be 1620. Then we'll go for the L that is 30 percent. So 30 percent of 10,800. So 30 divided by 100 into 10,800. So this and this will cancel. So this will be 3240. Then we'll go for M, that is 25%. So 25% of again 10,800, 25 by 100 into 10,800. So that is going to be 2,700. Then the last one that is going to be the small s, 10%, that is 10% of 10,800. So 10 by 100 into 10,800. So this is again going to be 1080. So this is done. They have asked for each size. Now find the difference in the number of t-shirts sold of sizes M and XL. So we have we already got the number. Now we will see for M and XL. So difference we have to see for M and XL. So M is how much? That is 2700 and XL is 2160. So we can see here M minus XL that is 2700 minus 2160 because we have to find the difference that is going to be 540. What size of t-shirts is sold the least? Least, can you see from this one? Also from these other sectors, from this pie chart also, we can say the least is this 10%. So that we can say that is just what size that is, that is going to be S. Now the type of vehicles visiting a petrol pump during one day are personal car, truck, bus and taxi, this is the given. And you have to display the about data in a pie chart. So now what you have to do first here, you have to take the sum of all this one. Sum of all the, we can say the components, 26 plus 12 plus 8 plus 14. So that is going to be 60. Now here, they have, whenever we want to display the about in the pie chart, so if you are taking it with the percentage, so we have to find the central angle. To find out the central angle, there is a formula, components divided by the sum of all the components into 360 degree. So personal car now let us see that is given as 26. 26 divided by because that is the component that is the 26. Sum of all the components means 60 divided by 60 to 360. So 61 are 66 are. So this is going to be 156. That will be in degree. Now for truck, that is 12. 12 divided by 60 into 360. So that is again going to be 72 degree. Then for bus, bus is 8. So that will be 8 divided by 60 into 360. So this is going to be again 48 degree. Then for taxi, that is 14. So 14 divided by 60 into 360. So that is going to be 84 degree. So now we are going to draw a pie chart. So now that is 156 degrees. So you can just do this one. You can draw a circle and you can take your protector and see you can just measure it. 
because this whenever we have all this one then this circle this completes 360 and when you add this one also you can see all this four that comes to 360 so you can take your protector and roughly you can just say here yeah, here yeah, this is 156 so you can just draw a sector with this one 156 then you will start for first one and then you will keep your protector here and then you will see for the 84 degree then this can be anyways either you write your truck or your bus anyways you can write it or your taxi the sequence can but now you take first one and then you go in the clockwise that will be more better clockwise you know you have to go this way and accordingly you can take this angles different angles and one more thing you can do you can this sectors you can use the different colors i haven't used the colors over here so for each sector you can use the different colors and one more question is left this was the fourth question and there is a fifth question it is similar to this fourth question you can do it yourself so by this one we are completed today's work do like and subscribe to my channel so you get the notification of other parts thank you